We are back with our Consumer Confidential. It's all about fall getaways, whether you want to sneak in a weekend trip or hope to travel for the holidays. With constantly changing restrictions and Delta variant cases around the U.S., there's certainly a lot to consider. And our investigative and consumer correspondent, Vicki Wynn, considered all of it for us, and she's <laughs> here with everything we need to know if you've already booked. Yeah. Uh, or like if you're Alice. planning to book. Yes, yeah. of course. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, should, should folks consider canceling if they've already booked a fall and holiday travel I would they say hold your trip? horses. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I mean, the good news right now is infections are down, hospitalizations are down, and deaths are down from COVID-19. Those are the big markers that kind of help us decide, you know, what is the risk calculation. The CDC hasn't issued any new guidance when it comes to the Delta variant for traveling, so they still say vaccinated is best. Yep. You want to test, if you can, before you go and upon arrival, and certainly keep your mask on and socially distance. But I'd say hold off on, on canceling because, you know, you don't want to make such sudden plans sure. yet. Wait until until you get a little closer and figure out what the personal risk calculation is for you. And also figure out where you're going and who you're visiting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always a risk versus reward, but I think this year Americans are really feeling like the reward of spending the holidays with family is going to outweigh the risk, especially if everyone is vaccinated. Can you give us some perspective on the travel landscape? I remember there for a second, every time I was on a flight for work, it was packed. I mean, the airports mm -hmm. were packed. It felt like the days of old, if you will. Has that died down or what's it like now? It's been sort of a, a roller coaster. Certainly the summer travel boom came back, but that's also because there were fewer flights, which is why we all felt like things were oh, packed, yeah. right? But um, according to Adobe's Digital Economic Index, travel for domestic airlines was about $6 billion. That's how much we spent in June. That went down to $4 billion in August. And then the first 10 days of September, we were looking at $1.5 billion. So some of that drop-off is because people are going back to school, sure, people work. are going back to work. But the airline industry is nowhere near recovering. From really? 2020 to 2022, no. They're predicting it's going to lose $200 billion. And that's from oh. the International Air Transport Association. Because we're just not there yet. Even and though there, there are fewer like flights. Fewer yeah. flights. And, and international and, flights, too. I mean, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so let's say you, you, you look at everything and you say, okay, I, I want to go. Uh, uh, you know, how, how are you going to take this holiday trip? How do you plan? When do you book? Yeah. Uh, and, and try to get the best deal. Well, travel site Hopper says book now, and it's a great time to book. They're looking at average flights domestically for Thanksgiving to be around $300. That's up a little bit from last year. But when you're looking at international travel, round trip is $620. That's at a historic low. Yeah. So if you're thinking about going somewhere internationally, this Thanksgiving, this holiday could be a really good time to do that. You don't want to book any time after Halloween. So basically between now and October 31st is going to be the best time for savings. After that, you could see spike, uh, prices start to spike up to 40%. Ooh. If you're mm -hmm. taking a trip for Thanksgiving, best day? Is there a best day to go? Yes, the best day is Monday, November 22nd for domestic travel. Oh. Wednesday is your best day for international. That's going to be the cheapest, mm -hmm. but you definitely want to calculate the time zone I and know. make sure. sure that you get there in time for Thanksgiving and not after Thanksgiving, the most expensive, no matter where you're coming home from, yeah. is going to be Sunday. Although, you know, it's funny. In the beginning, people used to say, I'll travel on the holiday. Yeah. Right. And no, there's nobody. And that used to be the case, but now... And now it oh, is. Because we travel on goes. Thanksgiving Day, and, it, yeah. and it's crowded. We started celebrating on Friday just mm -hmm. so I could work and then go. Oh, nice. But it's crowded. It is like, crowded. I mean, it is, absolutely. Right. Okay. All right, thank you. No, I think Wait, we have, do we have one more? We have one more. Oh. Look I'm out of questions. Oh. Oh. You are going to ask oh, me. Oh, cancel. Cancel. Oh, yeah, cancel. canceling. Okay, this is sure really that. important. So if you have that cancel for any time insurance, then you're okay. But you are really going to be beholden <laughs> to uh, whatever the terms were when you booked, right? So hold off on canceling flights because things could be getting better as you get closer. Now, if you booked basic economy, you're not going to get that no change fee. So mm -hmm. you might be better off upgrading rather than trying to get a whole new flight. Oh. As far as hotels, mm -hmm. don't usually, say oh like you would. They don't even study the <laughs> Right. Give me my paperback. <laughs> Thank you for saving Chanel. You know, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> this paperback. is why Vicky is a pro. While Vicky's giving that answer, Craig is taking Harassing pains me. to point out that Chanel had the last question. It says Joe you know, on Friday. Can I read it for you? <laughs> Vicky, if you do feel like you want to cancel your trip, flights, or hotels, what should you do? And there you go. Thank you very you much, Vicky. You so it. much. Thank Vicky, you. have you a nice weekend. Us. <laughs> Come and answer and ask yourself. <laughs> Thank you. We'll try that next time. Chanel, what you were supposed to say. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.